Sometimes when you build a Webflow website, you need to connect the form to data from your CMS, from the database. Now, as I'm recording this, there's no native way to do this, but there's a pretty simple hack that I can show you in this video on how you can achieve the same result. Everybody, what's up? So if you've seen yesterday's video, I've been working on the last few weeks on an update to a client website. And in this client website, we've actually built um, a way to submit CVs for careers for certain positions in the company. Now, let me show you how this is structured. So basically we have the careers page here and at the end, we have list of open positions, which is basically pulling from uh, a CMS collection positions here so that the client will be able to create new positions here based on locations. When you click that, you get to a specific page, which is a CMS page about the position with all the details, and you can send your CV from here. So as you can see, this is uh, actually a, a template page, a position template, and this is for this certain um, position. Now, the thing is that when they're sending the CV, we wanted to send along with the data, the name of the position they're applying for so we can know who to um, send this email to and to make sure that when they get the CV, they know exactly what position that um, person was applying for. So here's how we do that. Basically, there is no way to create kind of a dynamic field here or maybe create the name of the form um, dynamically. So that wasn't possible. So here's what you got to do here on the left. You can see that inside this form, I've added an HTML embed, which is basically some custom code. And if I'm open that, you can see that there is one line of code here, which is actually an input field, which is hidden. So you can see it, but there is actually another field in the form here, which is called position name. And that pulls up from the name of the position. So on Webflow in custom code, you can, if you're in a uh, currently in a template in a CMS item, you can add fields here. So you can add basically any property that you have on that specific CMS collection. But here I was pulling in the name, which is the name of the page, which is actually the name of the position. And when that is done, if I go here into the project setting, what actually happens when somebody submits the form, so you can go here and see the submit the submission of the form, usually you can see what the fields are and actually it created the new field here which is called position name and you can see that this person which is basically me testing this um, was submitted from this specific position so that's how we set up with the uh, CMS data by adding a hidden field in the form now the second thing that we had to do here basically you have tons of forms here on this website and they can all be only submitted to one email. So because we they wanted certain forms to submit to different emails, we actually had to integrate the forms with Zapier. Now Zapier, if you don't know, it's a pretty, um, it's an awesome service to connect services and you can actually create a free account here. So basically what we did here is we created some Zaps, um, which is the connections, and we set up that if, for example, uh, a submission is being sent in Webflow from a specific form. So you can see here that you can choose the website name and the form name. So if somebody sends from this specific form, which is called position CV, then they're going to be sent into a specific email um, with the client. So we've added the email that they need to create here. And that's actually the structure of the email based on the form data. So that's how we created dynamic forms with Webflow and then made sure that each email, each form sends to the right email using Zapier. Pretty simple. Hope that was useful for you. If you want to learn more about how to create website using Webflow, check out the link in the description. I'll see you on the next video.